what's up everybody so today I'm here to show you how you can run this predator pressure washer 4400 psi 4.2 gallon per minute you can run this off a buffer tank a lot of people say you can't do that you can't I'm telling you that I do it every day but it has to be gravity fed I run it with no pump and then other people are saying you have to have a 12 volt pump hooked up and all this stuff. You don't need it. I'm going to prove it to you right now. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that this 55 gallon barrel drum full of water produces enough gallons per minute. So we're shooting for 4.2 gallons per minute. I did the test and I think I was at like 6 or 7 or... Anyways, I'm gonna show you right now how I do it. So, we're gonna go to my phone. My phone here, calculator. Calc I don't need calculator, who do I need? Clock. Get you on your clock, Dan. Where's your clock? Let's turn this brightness all the way up. All right, y'all, stopwatch. Look, see, there's my test that I did earlier. Reset this stopwatch, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, put this phone down for a second, it's starting to rain. So here's my buffer tank, it's totally full of water, not totally, up to that valve. Ew. See what happens when you run without a lid, I gotta get a lid on this. Anyways, see that valve right there, that's the Hudson float valve, that's where my garden hose is hooked up. your garden hose and when the water gets up to there it shuts off so if I was to shake this around well, you see it's trying to squirt anyways it'll keep it full and then at the bottom here is just a hose bib valve that I put in and here's my hose running right to this five gallon bucket I'm gonna pull the plug off of here and we're gonna fill this up and we're gonna see how long it takes to get five gallons in here. But really we only need four gallons. But to show you, here we go. So, I'm gonna start this stopper whenever I get this opened. You guys are gonna like this, check this out. There we go, you ready? You ready? Okay, here it comes. All right, I'm not gonna put it in yet. Here we go. We'll start my stopper. Start. We're going, we're going. Look at this. We're at 15 seconds. Now remember, we only need four gallons per minute, 4.2 gallons per minute for this machine. I can tell you already, we're at 30 seconds. Can you see that? We're gonna have way more than that. So we're getting, man, 40 seconds, we're already at five gallons. 45 seconds, we're overflowing, so there you have it. Let me stop this watch here. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do is plug this back in. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. All right, guys. So, there you have it, there's my five gallons, filled up in 40 seconds. I don't know why that's like that. There we go. I just plugged the buffer tank into the pressure washer now for my next test. The next test is we're actually going to start this baby up. And uh, here's the pressure, oh no, that's not it, where's the pressure hose? 
right here. I'm gonna take the gun off. So we're gonna do the same exact test, but this time it's running through the pressure washer and we need four gallons per minute, which will be about right here. Okay, so we're gonna do the same exact thing again. I guess I should plug that in. It's my hose reel. Okay, we're plugged in. Same thing, I'm not gonna put it in the bucket yet. Start this baby up. Woo! Come on, baby. I think I proved my point. Look at that. That's over 4.2. Five gallons is like right there. You guys, it works, man. It really works. You can do this. You can be just like Dan. You can do this, guys. All right, if you like these videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks, y'all. Good luck out there with your business.